All right, WGBR time, 705 weather brought to you by UNC Physicians Network, carrying you through the ups and downs of life. They believe in treating family like family. You can visit uncpn.com to find a doctor. All right, as promised, Ryan Shaver in our studio this morning. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, sir. Glad to be here. Yeah, good to have you here, Ryan, of course. Uh, we got a big event coming up. Ryan's going to give us all the details. Now, you are with, make sure I get this correct here, the NC Masonry Contractors Association. Yes, sir, that's right. correct. Now, what drove you into that career field? High school masonry program, awesome. exactly what we're going to talk about and see going on today. Got me started in the trade in 1990. One. Wow. All right. So you know what you're talking about then. Well, I've right. been at it a little while. <laughs> Very good. Now, listen, we were talking off the air a little bit. And I got to put this on if you don't mind, because I joked with you and said, well, oh, we'll talk about fishing because I, I enjoy fishing. And you just perked right up. And fishing apparently is a great lead in to masonry work. Absolutely. It's uh, like I tell the students when I travel, travel around to the high schools, that's your first prerequisite. You have to love to fish to do masonry. Wow. I mean, it's just it's part of the game. It's man. just it's like it's it's one and the, the same. Almost. It's right. All that's right. right. <laughs> very good. Well, listen, Ryan, tell us a little bit about you know not only what you do but also our big event that's coming up today. We're very excited about this uh, big contest happening. Yes, sir. So we're expecting today we have 13 high schools going to show up down at uh, Adams Old Castle, and over 100 students will be participating laying brick today in block. So we're we're expecting a good crowd. We've got nine line burner contest contestants in that contest that contest is going to pay out twenty five hundred dollars jeff so man. that's that's man I, I i tried to get in it yesterday and they they said i was a little too old i but, could pass for high school couldn't yeah. I? I mean, come on so it's going to be a huge day and, yeah. and uh and what i do during the during my course of the day normally i travel around to these high schools excite the students to give the trades a try because mm -hmm. the skilled trades they pay very well Absolutely. still today. Absolutely. And I don't think we get that message out to the students as much as we should. So mm -hmm. it's my privilege to get to get out to these high schools and, and tell them my experience. You know, I didn't go to college. Uh, it worked out really good for me. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, they, they need to hear that. They need yeah. to know that a skilled trade is, is still viable today, just like it was for me in 1991 when I came out of that high school program where I learned masonry. So, Absolutely. It's huge. It's huge. It's, uh, we've got to make that impact on them and let those students understand that you can be very successful in this trade. And from what you have seen over the years, what's the response from students that get involved with this? Awesome. Yeah. I mean, man, from top to bottom, I mean, we've got, we've got jobs for you. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it doesn't matter if, if you want to drive a truck, if you like operating a machinery, if you like laying brick and block, if you're good at estimating – you name it, we've got a spot for you. We need you in our industry. Awesome. Now, we had Parrish Hoffman yesterday talking a little bit about some things, but run through it again in case some folks may have missed. What exactly happens in this line burner contest? And also walk us through the rest of the event today. Okay, so the line burner contest, we give the students 20 minutes, uh, 20 minutes to lay as many brick as possible. But we judge them on quality as well. So, you know, they have to be, you know, the, the key word sellable. Right. Um, you, can't, you can't just throw brick in the wall. You have to, you have to really make them look good. Um, but you also want to get as many in there. And like I tell the students, and I'll tell them today to get them loosened up a little bit, I say, hey, guys, you know what that brick needs? And they'll say, no. I said, nothing on top of it. Let's go. <laughs> so, you know, we, we want them to do a great job, but we also want to see who can, who can actually put the most brick in the wall in 20 minutes. So that's awesome. a good little contest. Yeah. Um, it's fun to watch the students that are in the crowd, you know, represent each high school's represented in those mm -hmm. nine and and they kind of get behind their their supportive person sure. and just like a sporting event, you know, they're behind their guy and they're behind their team and they're pushing them and hollering and it's just <laughs> it's a great thing. It's awesome. a great thing. And how are the students selected to participate? So their instructors select one student, you know, and, and I'm sure that okay. they have a, a some kind of thing that they do back at the class and in the shop to see who, you know, who mm -hmm. can actually perform the best. And I would like to say while, while we're talking about that, the yeah. instructors are phenomenal. Sure. Um, without these instructors in the high school, I mean, they pour a lot of time and effort into these students. Mm -hmm. And I don't think they get the recognition that we, you know, that that they deserve. We need to really – Thank them for what they're doing and thank them for the time that they're putting into these students because these students leave high school, they're job ready. Yeah. They're, I mean, they're, day one, they're ready to go. Yeah. So awesome. what, other, what other course in high school can <laughs> prepare you like 
you can get prepared in masonry. So I, I, I'm very high on the instructors as well. Awesome. So where is the event taking place? What time? All that good stuff. So it starts this morning. We're, we'd are we love to have everybody out. Um, sure. We're going to try to get started around 830 this morning. Mm-hmm. Uh, the contest, uh, we've got three different contests that will happen today. They will get started around 9 and 930, and then the line burner will happen after lunch. Okay. Uh, so it's down at Adams Old Castle on 2084 NC Highway 70. So we'd love for you to come by. You will see the crowd. Absolutely. Uh, so just just slow down and stop. That's, <laughs> that's what we were inviting you to come today. So awesome. love to see everyone out there and, and experience how well these students, you'll be blown away. Yep. You'll absolutely be blown, blown away with, with how good they are. It sounds like. It sounds like a wonderful event, and uh, it's going to be an all-day event going on basically into the early afternoon. Uh, and we're going to be out there doing our live broadcast thing as well, Curtis Media Stations. I'll be out there right after the show is over this morning at 8.30. Uh, anything else we want to mention this morning to wrap things up? Jeff, I would like to say, uh, if you've never been to a competition like this today, come on out. Mm-hmm. You will you will never forget it. Uh, this is what got me excited about the trade how many years ago going on <laughs> going on 30 now wow, yeah. and i'm still excited i'm still mm-hmm. excited to see these students see the opportunity that we're able to give them and the opportunity that they can have to succeed in life make a great career and plenty of money awesome well listen we're excited about it i will see you out there a little bit later on this morning and i thank you for coming in today yes sir thank you for having us all right my friend wgbr time 712 coming back with more in just a moment Jeff.